So let's talk about how to actually create a melody using the chord progression, right? But before I do that, I actually, actually want to show you Ferris Jacques as an example first, okay? So Ferris Jacques is actually C, D, E, Do, Do, Re, Mi, Do, Mi, Fa, So, and then, da, da, da. okay, and then T, oh, okay, like this. Okay, and then duh, 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 like that, right? So, so the question is, how do we know which chord or or the, so why am I showing you this when I'm showing you how to create a melody, right? Um, here's actually something fun that I want to show you. Enter. Okay, now it's organizing one line, right? Now, so if you take a look at this, you can actually see do re mi do. So the more important Beats are actually do and me because they're actually heavier beats. So when we have four beats, it's actually one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So what you're hearing should be important and important, important and important. <laughs> so what that means is that this this first note and third note are more important. So I can actually see is C E or do me, then I can actually put C E G in here. Okay. Okay, C E G here and C E G here, right? Because they, they actually take over the third beat, right? The third beat and the first beat, right? So they're actually more important, okay? So, so the re in between is what we call a passing note, okay? It's not, so, but the first and third note actually belong to C, E, and G, okay? By the way, okay? Do, do, mi, so, do, re, mi, do, do, re, mi, do, and then, me for so then me and so belong to C E G which is do me so right so so we it's safe to say but so la so fa me do so we can actually have so la so fa okay well actually it's actually um okay so do 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 okay so we can see. Okay, then then we can take a look. You can see that the eighth notes in here, right? Let's take a look at what's on the first and third beat. First, first, first is so, and third beat is me, and then there's also do here. Then what chords do we use? C E G because do me so is C E G, right? Okay, so we so all use C E G to harmonize it. So what I'm showing you is that uh, so so Ferrajaka is actually just one chord, by the way. Okay. Do, 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 right? At the end, probably there's a G chord. Now, so what I'm showing you is this. Now, there are a few ways for us to harmonize this C major. This is actually C major, right? C, E, G. So I can actually put uh, put uh, C, E, G here. Can I put lyrics? No, I can't put lyrics here yet. I can put lyrics here, C, E, G. And then, um, oh. And this is D, F, A. Uh, this is A, C, E. And then this is... F A C, right? F A C. Okay. So that means that when you're actually putting melody, you can actually just put C E G, like C E G C. Okay. And then I can put D F A D, and then A C E A, and then F A C A. So can we do this? Yes, it would sound really good because every melody note belongs to the chord, right? Okay, but it's kind of boring because there's no surprises, right? So something we can do is this. We can actually do this. We can actually do, okay, C, so, Do, re, mi, do. Ah, sounds like Ferrer Jacques, right? Okay. But the second chord is different, so we can actually do something different, right? So we can we can see D, there's no E, there's F, right? D, F, A, right? We can actually do D, oh, sorry. We can do D, E, F, D, and then A, C, E. Instead of A, C, E, I can do A, B, C. Okay. 
okay? And then I can do F, G, A, F. So if we check uh, F on the third, uh, on the first and the third beat, they're all F, A, C. That's what I wanted to make sure. You don't want to be too out of whack, okay? So make sure the third beat and the first beat, they still belong to F, A, C here, okay? Then it should be good. Ah, now it's more smooth, right? You can see the line more smooth, right? And I can actually try to connect the lines a little bit better, actually. Uh, so you can see here, there's a D and then there's a B, right? There's actually a little note in between, okay? I can actually put the C here, okay? And C actually belongs to ACE as well. So I can actually, um, I can actually smoothen the line. So you see how it's all stepwise motion like this? It's a, like a line. So listen to this, this uh, melody, okay? Hang on, one second here. Uh, the, yeah, so this is all smooth, actually. Every note is connected. So you see C, D, okay? There's no C like F, okay? There's no jump. Okay, you see? Okay, so that you can actually play with something like this um, right now by actually playing with the melody. Just make sure the first beat and the third beat belong to C, E, G, to whatever chord you are playing in, then you should be good, okay? If you don't know, guess what? Delete this and just put another E. Press E or press G and see which one is closer to what you want. That's all. You don't have to be able to read the notes, okay? Cool. That's it. Try it, okay? Try to create a two-line uh, two chord progression and then uh, try to create a melody for it, okay?